Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to design a basic nav bar using the uh, Material UI. And just for the record, we're using uh, version 1.00, which is its beta still. So it's Material UI dash next um, from the website. Just the latest version. And so we're going to start by, we'll, we'll create a new component in our component. So we'll make a nav bar dot JS. We might move it around later. So Bring in importing React from React. And we're going to import the app bar and the toolbar from the material UI sections. For now, we'll just say we'll just say export default Bar and then inside the app bar, we put the toolbar. Save that. I'm wondering exactly where should we should put it. I mean, if we can get it, if we can get it to render inside of our roots. I'm not sure if we can get it to render in here, but I want to try for a minute here. Just so maybe we can get it, maybe we can get it to render on every page in one shot. Not sure if we're going to be able to set it up like this though. But we'll give it a shot anyways, because we're gonna want it on we're gonna want it on many different routes. Um, just kind of it's ever present, you know. You know, if we're on a downloads route. If we're on a I'm just thinking of the different routes. Let's see what we got here trying to sneak it in like that. I'm not sure it's going to let us render more than one element. The router may only have one child. So let's see. What if we try to put it inside the switch? Yeah, that seems to work. 
but it doesn't render the home element. Because it just renders, I guess it just renders the first, first thing it gets in the switch. Maybe... We still should we still want to see that home component with our query there we go that'll work well here's our app bar and we're just gonna to have to adjust the styling of whatever comes below it So that'll, that'll work for now as a start. We're going to want to style everything because we're, we're losing some stuff getting cut off on top here. We can even take a look at YouTube. Take a look at YouTube. Your home component. Clearly got this app bar. Big search. Got some different icons you can do different stuff with. Got the avatar over here. And we got this drawer. That's a big component. That's our navigation throughout the site, really. Is this drawer here. Maybe we want to figure out how to get this drawer set up. And that basically comes in pushing content to the side. It's almost like that's part of the nav bar, really. No, it's the drawer. And there's our drawer from the left, like we want. Permanent drawer. Persistent drawer. And that's the one we want, one that we can control moving it in and out. Okay. We're going to have to sit and figure out exactly where we want to put this drawer. I guess is we're going to want that inside of our main app component here as well. We can probably set it up as its own component though on the side. Looks like we're reaching the limit here. I'm going to check on a couple things and plan some things out. That's our basic app bar. Um, we're going to figure out how to implement the drawer in the next video.